What simple life hack should everyone know? Buy anything you'd need in your kitchen from a restaurant supply store. Anything. Plates. Glasses. Pans etc. There are a few online that sell to consumers. Those 8. 99 tongs at a box store are like one. 30. A 16 ounces. Mason jar glass that sells for 3 to 4 a piece can be bought as a 12 pack case for 8. 55. Oh need a china plate that sell for 345. 84 a case for 57. 84. I just bought a 2 foot by 2 foot wooden butcher's block cutting board that would have been close to 400 for 55. Edit. Also, this ps is built to last years in a commercial kitchen under constant use. It sure as ps can handle your Sunday brunch cooking ass. Edit 2. I've been buying from here. If there's a jar or container you can't open, run the lid under hot water for a 30 seconds. Dry it so you can get a good grip, then open. Never had this not work. Some pretty good stuff on here. Just beat it on the counter. The jar. I meant the jar. Too late. Now my counter is all sticky. Anybody got any tips for that? Run it under hot water for 30 seconds. Cold water. Actually. Heat will cook the proteins, and make a firm glue on the counter. If you put something down temporarily, say out loud I've put the screwdriver by the microwave, or whatever. This engages many more areas of the brain particularly the language centers which creates a richer memory making it less likely you'll forget where you put it. In a similar vein, I will say it out loud, when I turn stove burners off, unplug my hair straightener etc. I found this helps me eliminate those moments where I leave the house or am in bed and I'm suddenly like, did I leave that on? My wife and I made this a ritual due to her OCD. Anytime we are going out, I'll say to her, hey, I unplugged the un. Saying it in a funny voice helps too, because it's easier to remember that Shrek told her the iron was off. Not necessarily a hack per se, but learn some basic knife skills. The amount of time you will save chopping vegetables a few times a week minimum for the rest of your life far outweighs the amount of time it takes to learn. Plus you can use the extra time to keep the kitchen clean, and that makes everything less stressful while you're cooking, and makes the cleanup faster as well. This went in a very different direction than I expected, after reading knife skills. While you were eating vegetables whole, I studied the blade. While you were practicing premarital sex, I studied the blade. And now, when the kitchen is a disaster and the vegetables are unchopped, you have the audacity to come to me for help. Turn your bed mattress when you renew your blanket. Through time your mattress will deform, and that can make you sleep worse. Edit. Some mattress have a specific side and top that they need to be. Thanks for pointing that out you slash shaved ape. Some mattresses shouldn't be turned, check the directions, when you buy it. But if it needs it, this tip is brilliant. Honey does not go bad. If it has gone solid it has just crystallized, and can become liquid again with just a little heat. Put the container of solidified honey in a container of hot water. Put it in the microwave once. It worked but made the bottle bear depressed. Oh bother. Regularly change the oil in your car. On time. Do it. Will help it last longer. My first car I owned, when I lived alone. I had it for a full year before the guy I was dating asked me, when I last changed the oil. Um. You mean it has to go to the mechanic, even though it's working fine? Don't be like that, folks. Sometimes changing your pillowcase daily can help with acne. I use a clean t-shirt over my pillow, to accomplish the same effect. I usually put a clean towel on my pillow and sleep on it. That way I don't have to change the pillowcase often, and can put the new towel on and wash the used one. I have like 10 cases and switch them every day. Helps a lot. This comment made me go order pillowcases. Like, a lot of pillowcases. If you want to wear something white light in color. Wear underwear that matches the color of your skin, not white or light gray. 
It hides better under white than white does. Same principle works for your primer coat before you paint your walls. If you have a bright or intense color that you want to paint, using a gray primer will help your paint cover better than going over white primer. Source. Sherwin Williams Manager. To confirm which circuit breaker is associated to an outlet, plug in an old radio and turn the volume up before you flip the circuit breaker. You can also do this with a vacuum, if you are like me and don't have a radio or hair dryer. Read the 3 and 4 star reviews for the most reliable information on Amazon items. And 2 star reviews for books. Seeing what people dislike tells much. Try on your favorite to see. UPD. To clarify, the idea here is that people writing 2 star reviews project their views and values when arguing that the book is bad for them. And when their views are opposite to yours, it may suggest that you might actually enjoy the book. Let's say you are into reasoned in mind stimulating philosophy book, and a person writes something like this is boring, the writing is too complex, ideas are difficult to follow, the language is too intricate, quit reading after 20 pages. It may mean that it is what you look for. Problem with that is, there's so many stupid reasons people give for disliking stuff. 3 star reviews are usually the most realistic. Edit. Best practice when looking through reviews is to read some reviews from 1 star all the way to 5 stars. So you get a good overview and a more complete picture of the product. This is just a response. Not a comprehensive guide to reviews. LOL. Didn't receive the item. The website is glitchy. While shopping a product on Amazon. The hard drive was advertised as 100 GB. But when I plugged it in it has I only have 96. 9 G be available. I hate it. It's great. My favorite ever of you. Couldn't be worse. Tell the people you love that you love them more often. When moving house, always set up your bedroom slash make the bed first so when you're exhausted and just had enough you can fall into bed. Nothing worse than being exhausted and having to make the bed before getting into it. Also if you have time, plan where do you want the furniture slash boxes of your stuff in the house. Placing it in the right room straight away helps a lot. The easiest way to remove blood stains is to use bar soap and hand wash it. Works better than using laundry detergent. Nursing trick, hydrogen peroxide. This is a real LBT. Once I discovered that, I thought of all the pants and underwear that cold been saved over the years. Works amazingly well. If you bring something to someone's house that you don't want to forget, put your keys with it, assuming you can trust the people there. Also, get a tile or similar Bluetooth device so you never lose your keys or phone again. Tiles are game changers. Just remember to put a clap finder on the remote that finds tiles. The phone is the finder. And to find the phone, just double click the button on the tile. I have like 4 tiles. So if I can't find one of them, first I use one of the other tiles to find my phone. Then I use the phone to find the missing tile. It's amazing. God damn dude, how much do you lose? 4. Brush your teeth more thoroughly before bed, after you are done eating and drinking for the day. Morning brushing is important too, but more so for fresh breath, while evening cleaning will prevent bacteria from breeding and damaging your teeth and gums. No matter how good a person you are, at some point you will be the bad guy in someone else's story. You can't please everyone, and you shouldn't try to be a good person, and have friendships with people you can respect and look up to. If you oops up, admit it unless you are talking to cops. But in most situations just admitting how you were wrong and accepting responsibility is so much easier than trying to blame someone or something else or make up an excuse. When you own the mistake it puts the onus back on the other person to accept that. Be mature and move on. If you try and deny or shift blame it forces that person to examine those reasons and if they are BS, come back at you. 
dragging the process out, and leading to unpleasant callouts and confrontations. Along this line, learning how to apologize will make life easier. 1. Keep it short and clear. 1. Specifically say, I'm sorry. 1. Identify the thing you are sorry for. 1. Unless your remorse is particularly great. Stop there. Only attempt to offer an explanation for egregious wrongdoing. 1. If you offer an explanation, you must also identify how you are going to prevent the issue in the future. 1. If you offer an explanation, make sure it's not actually an attempt at an excuse. 1. If you offer an explanation, rule 1 still applies. 1. Do not ever include an excuse in an apology. Ever. Ever ever. I also have a personal rule that I will only apologize when I feel remorse. I will not give you an apology just because you think you deserve one, or just because someone tells me I should apologize. Lastly, do not ever state, I'm sorry if it conveys that you are not currently sorry for your actions, and that you might be sorry only under certain circumstances. It also removes most of the sincerity. If you don't know the circumstances, you probably aren't actually sorry. You're better off asking about the conditional first, and then issuing an actual apology if warranted. If you do know the circumstances, leave the if out and just identify what it is you feel bad about.